I was researching this one. I don't know how I came across this book, but I was looking at it on like my computer and my manager at that time saw me looking at that and she was like, oh, I have that book. So the book was called Skinny Bitch. (laughs) <laughs> and I guess I wanted to lose weight because it was yeah. about like, I th- well, I, I thought it was like a weight loss book and it mm-hmm. like technically it was, but yeah. it's more of like a vegan book um, as I come to find, find out. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like talking about how like basically, okay. So she said she had this book. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, cool. She's like, yeah, I can lend it to you if you want. I was like, okay, sh- sure. So she brought it and I started reading it and yeah, it was about kind of more of the vegan message mm. and I started reading it and it started talking about factory farming and what happens Mm. in factory farming. And it kind of went into a bit of a graphic detail about, you know, what happens to these animals in the different industries. So for example, in, in the, in the uh, egg industry, the male chicks get ground up alive because they're not of any use to the egg industry. And uh, of course the female chicks go on and live the same fate as the mother, which is horrible. And in the dairy industry, the calves get taken away from the mother because uh, the mother needs to produce milk to, Mm -hmm. you know, not for the calf apparently. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of digress just for two seconds. I think that, I mean, I had a few epiphanies, which I'll go into later, but that whole thing about the dairy industry, I had no idea because in my mind, the the way they package it and the way they brand it, I never realized. And when you think about it intuitively, it makes sense. Like obviously a cow has to give birth to a, a calf in order to produce milk. And basically that milk is meant for the calf. So if the calf is drinking, it means that people can't. Or there won't be enough necessarily for to make, you know, the, the supply that, that's needed. So obviously the calf gets removed. And that to me was like the biggest, like, why didn't I think of this before? You know? I know. Right. Yeah. That's the crazy thing is it's like some of these things are so obvious. Even the, mm. even the idea of obviously we know where technically we do know that the meat is coming from an animal. We know that. Yeah. But unless until you actually really see what's happening and make those real connections. You don't actually Mm -hmm. know, like, you know what I mean? Like you said, because the way that it's packaged and the way that it's sold, it doesn't look like, you know, the animal, you don't see the live animal. So I do feel like butchered or anything. Exactly. And also, yeah, with, with the dairy thing. Yeah. That was like Mm. totally like mind. I was, yeah, yeah, I was was just like, what and yeah you're right it seems so obvious after you Mm -hmm. read it it's like a it's one of those things where before you read it you don't think about it but then after Mm -hmm. you read it you're like how come i didn't know this because it's so obvious or how come i didn't think of it even exactly because we're not forced to think about it that's the thing it's like we're not forced to think about these things that are heavily ingrained in our system that Mm -hmm. we just kind of live and go along with it Mm -hmm. until we are forced to actually question okay does this actually make sense why are we doing Mm -hmm. things like this so Yeah. yeah the whole dairy dairy farming was shocking to me um, in so many levels because you you don't think about a when you just like have milk or whatever you just think oh it's just like you know it's just squeezed from the cow like it's fine the cow's not dying or whatever but at the end of the day there's so much suffering that goes on with that Mm -hmm. and cows have a very very strong bond to their to their you know babies Mm -hmm. and it's apparently they cry for days after the baby is taken away and it's very, very stressful. Um, so anyways, read about all this, but mainly I think I was, I was reading about, you know, the slaughterhouses and stuff like that. So at that moment, I think I read half the book and I was like, okay, I'm going to stop eating meat. 